What's going on guys, Core Prevent here with another how to. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit your name and add color to your name using DN Spy. If you do not have DN Spy, check the description below for the link to where to download it. You will need DN Spy to do anything further. After you get DN Spy opened, it's going to look very similar to this. All you need to do is go to File, you're going to go to Open. And you're going to open your assembly file. So to show you how to get there, you're going to go to your Steam folder, wherever the directory it's installed. You will go to Steam Apps. The description for this will also be in the bottom. You go to Steam Apps, Common, Phasmophobia, Phasmophobia Data, and Managed. You will open up Assembly C, C Sharp. You're going to give it a second to load all the opponents and components and everything. Then down here in the search, you're going to type in nickname, exactly how I'm typing it here. You're going to double click until you see one that looks very similar to this. It might, it probably will not have these fields here. They're going to have these fields, but they're going to say value at the end. We're going to be replacing that value where it says value right here this is where you're going to change your name. Now you can't just click here and edit. If you do, it's going to start messing stuff up. So on the left hand side here, you're going to go to Photon Player, drop it down, and you scroll down until you see Nickname on the left hand side. When you see that, you're going to see Get Nickname and Set Nickname. You will go to Set Nickname, right click, Edit Method, and you can t put in here whatever you want. If you want it to just display your name and nothing else, you will just type in value. That will make it what exactly your Steam one is. And you want to do that on both lines. You would change this to value as well, leaving the semicolon, if you want your name to appear as it is on Steam. If you want to leave the color, you can just keep this code, pause your screen and copy and paste the code, or not copy and paste it, but type it over. Where you see Previant, that's just the name of what's going to be showing. So let's just make an example. And I'm going to make it change me. Then you will hit compile. You're done. All you need to do now is go to your Steam and launch Phasmophobia. Now, made sure you go to File, and you went to Save All, and I didn't do this, this was one step I just forgot, so make sure you go to File, Save All, and it should default to your Steam, exactly where you opened it from, and just hit OK, and it'll save the module. I don't know if I'm going to have to restart the game now that I just made that change, but we'll, we'll find out together. No, nope, it did not take effect because I have to close out the game. So let's redo that real quick. And my name should be Change Me. I'll put the code in the description below so you can copy and paste it as well uh, and just change the name. If you want to know how to change the color, you will just need to Google um, color codes, like orange color code or whatever color code you're looking for, and it'll pop right up. See? And now my name has changed me. So that's all you need to do. Now, if you notice you're going to edit your file and you're getting a bunch of errors, launch the game first, close the game out, reopen up DNS Spy, and reload the config. Other than that, that's exactly how you edit it. If you have any questions or anything, please feel free to join my Discord. The link to that will also be below. Um, we've also edited this DLL file to have a lot more to it. If you want to see that stuff that we have, uh, again, join my Discord. And you can get the DLL file with a lot more than just this. Um, 
So I hope this video helped uh, video helped you out. If it did, please like and subscribe below. And uh, I'll have more videos coming here in the future. Thanks for watching.